Tyson Beckford, one of the most successful black male supermodels of all time, disappeared from modeling just after meeting Naomi Campbell and P. Diddy. Do you want to know what happened to his promising career? Let's dive in. Holy kid, I had a big afro and girls didn't like me. Girls just started liking me you know, when I got some muscles and got a little taller. Tyson Beckford, born in 1970 from Bronx, New York, is a prominent Jamaican-American model and actor. He gained fame in the early 1990s as the face of Ralph Lauren's polo sport fragrance, becoming the first African-American male model to secure such a high-profile contract. Beckford's career includes modeling for major designers and appearing in few films. Beckford is recognized as one of the most successful black male supermodels of all time. And out, the first male supermodel of the year. And the winner is... Attention! Tyson ah, Beckford! Tyson Beckford is currently engaged in various projects, including producing a TV show, which is loosely based on his life experiences. Tyson Beckford stepped back from modeling in 2008. In official statement, Beckford felt he had accomplished everything he wanted in the industry. Behind the scenes, this looks otherwise. Why is nobody talking about how after his stint at Russell Simmons and Diddy parties in the Hamptons, he went into pure drug addiction and now it's just disappeared. He's not acting. What is Tyson Beckford doing? Naomi Campbell is something special for a dinosaur. I'm still trying to figure out how, how she managed to get Ghislaine in jail and she's still walking around. Who would ever thought that, you know, I would grace those magazines. I mean, Absolutely. I loved the clothes before, but never thought I'd be wearing them Absolutely. to sell to other people. In 90s, Beckford met Naomi and from then they very often would cross the paths, eventually becoming friends. They would take part in the same events and shows. Naomi has also introduced Beckford to her friends, like Diddy. Tyson Beckford met Sean Diddy Combs in the early 2000s when he became the face of Diddy's Sean John clothing line. Tyson Beckford mentioned that the late rapper Black Rob warned him not to work with Diddy. He was told of potential issues when working with Combs. Beckford recalled exactly Black Rob telling him, quote, You gone run into some problems. At the time, Beckford didn't fully understand or digest the warning, but he later realized its significance. After experiencing financial disputes with Diddy, and so it happened, Beckford and Diddy professional relationship soured due to a breach of contract, with Beckford suing Diddy in 2005 for $5 million after not receiving the full payment for his work. Beckford expressed confusion and disappointment over the situation, despite eventually winning the court case. Then also that Miss Campbell was in the act. Yeah, yeah, we, we got well. to use her in there. Yes. But, you know, she had to be a part of it. Yes. So we, we didn't call her. She just showed up and said, I want to be in this. And then that's what she did. She always knows where to show up at the right time. So well, she showed up there. So Naomi was always close. Ask yourself why. The same year Naomi Campbell and Sean Combs collaborated on the Fashion for Relief initiative, which aimed to raise funds for victims of Hurricane Katrina. Today we know that these events collected money, which never reached the causes, and it was a potential fraud. Tyson mentioned hearing rumors that the company Sean John felt he was becoming too prominent and might overshadow Diddy, which he found perplexing since Sean John was inherently tied to Diddy's identity. Beckford expressed confusion over these perceptions, emphasizing that he was merely fulfilling his role as the face of the brand and not seeking to compete with Diddy's status. This rumor was not aligned with the fact that Diddy himself used Beckford as a face of the brand and then decided not to pay him. After the dispute with Sean Diddy Combs, Tyson Beckford just simply vanished modeling, just like many celebrities disappeared from music industry as soon as they had any disputes with Diddy. Do you think Diddy had anything to do with this sudden retirement decision from Beckford? So Tyson retired from the modeling industry, expressing disillusionment with fashion following the conflict with Sean John. Why do you think Tyson had difficulties making money from modeling after battle with Diddy? 
At the same time, Campbell was photographed with Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell at various high-profile events, reinforcing their connections within elite social circles. Naomi Campbell stayed completely impartial by continuing close friendship with Diddy and even modeling with him at various events, including Diddy's birthday celebrations and the 2018 Pirelli calendar launch. In 2018, Tyson Beckford made comments about Kim Kardashian's body, stating, Sorry, I don't care for it personally. She is not real. Dr. F K'd up on her right hip. This prompted Kardashian to respond with a remark implying Beckford might be gay, saying, Sis, we all know why you don't care for it. Beckford later addressed this. Expressing confusion over her comment and denying any implications about his sexuality, during a black tie gala, Beckford encountered Kanye, who reportedly refused to make eye contact with him. According to Beckford, Kanye then sent someone to follow him to the bathroom for a discussion. Beckford recounted telling the individual, I suggest you get out of this bathroom before I wipe you all over the wall. It's worth adding that Black Rob's struggles with homelessness and health issues after leaving Bad Boy Records drew criticism towards Diddy, especially after Rob's death in 2021. At that moment, Beyoncé has personally invited Tyson Beckford to work with her, and so he returned to modeling in 4 Ivy Park campaign, which marked his first major project after more than a decade away from the fashion scene. That's when Campbell addressed controversies surrounding her elite friends. Following Maxwell's conviction for her role in Epstein's crimes in 2021, Campbell reiterated her shock at the allegations against Epstein and emphasized her lack of knowledge about his illegal activities. A few months later in 2022, Naomi hosted a lavish party for Diddy in London, attended by numerous celebrities. She has organized his birthday party. However, following serious allegations against Diddy, she deleted pictures from the event, leading to speculation about their relationship. Throughout these years since 2001, Naomi Campbell has maintained that she was unaware of any wrongdoing associated with Epstein or Maxwell and even Diddy. And it looks like she also took part in setting up Tyson to work with Diddy and never be paid. Despite his modeling success, Beckford is refreshingly candid about the fashion industry, describing it as ugly, mean and shallow where one day you're invisible and the next you're fabulous. This is exactly what has happened to him. Beckford was very streetwise, and so he openly criticized the entertainment and modeling industry. i business for a little while and come back to fashion, lost a lot of weight. It's killing me to lose this weight, but I know how important it is to our people because there's no, there's no black like people at our level, so we have to continue to do it, you know? Because if we don't make our moves right now in fashion, we'll be obsolete. We'll just be, we'll be people that just purchase the fashion while everybody else wears it. And that's not right, you know what I mean? Black, black deserves the right just like any other color. He's also known for his unfiltered comments about his own career and relationships, once controversially stating he created his girlfriend in the fashion world. In 2008, right after leaving modeling, he met 17-year-old Shanina Schick while filming Australia's Make Me a Supermodel. He claimed to have transformed Shanina's modeling career, saying he helped her get contacts, clean her teeth, and tone her body. Beckford admitted to being controlling in relationships, often telling girlfriends how to dress, he once controversially stated that he was responsible for turning Shanina from a regular schmegular girl into a top model. However, Shanina later clarified that while Beckford supported her, he did not create her. Their relationship ended. After six years, with Shanina citing Beckford's unresolved issues, he needed to address. Although Shanina did not directly accuse Beckford of cheating, she avoided confirming it and described him as not a nice guy. Shanina moved on with DJ Ruckus, which reportedly upset Beckford. Tyson Beckford's life was dramatically altered by his older brother Patrick's murder, a moment that became a critical turning point. Just before his brother's death, Patrick had encouraged Tyson to leave street life and pursue modeling and acting. Beckford received a 3 a.m. call informing him of his brother's murder. In his immediate grief and rage, he was prepared to seek violent revenge, even loading a weapon and heading to the subway. However, in a pivotal moment of reflection, he remembered his brother's last words urging him to pursue a better path. Patrick was Beckford's inspiration and teacher the family's real gangster who saw potential in Tyson long before he saw it in himself. His final advice was clear, these streets ain't for you. Go make some real paper. This tragic loss became the catalyst for Beckford's transformation. Instead of pursuing revenge, he channeled his energy into modeling and acting, ultimately becoming a top male model and completely changing his life trajectory. 
Tyson Beckford's background is far more complex than his glamorous modeling career suggests. Growing up in a tough neighborhood, he survived an incredibly challenging youth, having been involved in 38 street fights and never losing a single one. His childhood was marked by significant adversity, with most kids in his neighborhood. Involved in gangs, and many ending up dead or imprisoned. He mentioned that he didn't have a mentor to look up to when he started in the modeling industry, which led him to rely on his own instincts and experiences. Beckford's career was largely self-driven, and he often shared his experiences with aspiring models as a mentor on shows like Make Me a Supermodel. His approach to mentoring involved sharing personal experiences and building confidence in contestants, emphasizing authenticity and swagger. You heard you're very shy, is this true? Um... <laughs> I don't know. No, you're not really shy. No, I'm not really shy. But you do have a sense I of I get a little nervous sometimes, yeah. yeah. You, get a little, you get a little shy. But the fact of it really is, I think the hardest thing for you really right now is really dealing with, what, anything that's hard about any of it? No. Nothing's really hard about it. I guess trying to stay, keep your head out of the clouds, I guess. Yeah. From everyone telling you, oh, you're a supermodel, you're a star, and you're like, no, I'm not. What do you think about Tyson Beckford's impact on the fashion industry? Do you believe Diddy's influence affected Beckford's career? How do you view Naomi Campbell's role in Tyson's professional journey? What lessons can be learned from Tyson Beckford's experiences in the fashion world? Let me know in the comments below.